five Hermes mistakes you are making right now that are preventing you from getting your dream Hermes Birkin or a Kelly. Maybe you have started your Hermes journey on the wrong foot. Maybe you made these mistakes without even knowing there are mistakes. And now you're stuck and you're at a point that you're not getting an offer for your dream Hermes bag, then this video is for you. And my name is Tanya. I'm an experienced Hermes collector. I made it my point to know how Hermes works because I like Hermes bags and I'm also a regular person. I have a full-time job, I have dogs, and I don't have all of the time and all of the money in the world to be spending on Hermes you know, 50, 80, $100,000 on pre-spend just to get a bag. I don't have this kind of money and I teach you how to get Hermes bags with no pre-spend or with little pre-spend and save money and time wherever possible. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you are interested in Hermes bags or potentially buying one in the future and if you want other luxury brand reviews because I will tell you what's worth your money and where maybe Maybe ask yourself a question if you really want to buy that. Also follow me on Instagram because every Wednesday without fail I have a mess Q&A and you can ask me any question you want. Now going back to the top five Hermes mistakes that I see people make. And don't worry, I used to make the same mistakes too. I learned through so much trial and error. I went to so many different Hermes stores. I actually did waste a lot of money to get to where I am today to learn all the tips and tricks and different Hermes formulas to utilize them for my personal benefit. Number one mistake is putting all of your eggs into one store. And that tip is a little bit controversial because when you're starting with Hermes, you should definitely commit to one store and one sales associate. And usually the quota limit is two quota bags per year. If you are interested in more quota bags per year, I highly recommend, and this is what I do, is I travel to buy Hermes bags. It's sort of like the law of probability. The more chances you give to other stores, the more you go, the more you try, the higher chances you have of actually getting your dream Hermes bags. Like for example, last year I was able to buy four quota bags in three different countries, and that is not counting the bags that I rejected. Because I could have gotten five quota bags from four different countries. I just rejected one and that was boy that was quite a bag to be rejected in my H inner circle I share all of the details of that super difficult decision and why I made that decision but yeah I rejected my dream bag it was it was definitely a hard one for me so in my H inner circle I teach you how to travel where to go what to say how to behave to get bags while traveling so yes it's amazing that you have your home store and it's amazing that you have your essay and it's amazing that you're working on your pre spend All of those things are a big yes, yes, yes. And if you do want to get more bags or if you want to get bags at no pre spend it's definitely likely to get these bags while traveling. And in my h inner circle, I have also Hermes All Countries Encyclopedia. It's a database with information from different Hermes countries and how to buy bags there, my own experiences, I share all of my stories, where I got all of my bags, in which countries, how I did it, where I went, what I said, what I wore, like to the point. So you can learn from my successes and I also share a lot of my failures because it wasn't always like that. The first few times I went to Europe, guess what, no bag. So I share all of that with you and in my H inner circle, members can ask me any question they want. So I have little Hermes helpline channel, you can browse through that and that is definitely a bank of knowledge and all of the reviews and celebrations of my H inner circle members getting their dream bags. Second mistake is it's extremely important to pre-spend in the right way. So if you go to an Hermes store in your own home country and you spend $20,000 
in one day and then you don't get offered a bag yeah there is a reason why it's very important to pre-spend in the right way to make your pre-spend over time and to be very smart and intentional about your pre-spend of course if you wanted to make any large purchases it's amazing you just need to do it in a smart way and which brings me to the third mistake you have to know with whom to make your pre-spend aka choose your sales associate this is perhaps the number one reason where all of your journeys go wrong is the sales associate because you don't spend time choosing the right person you don't care with whom you make the pre-spend or you leave it by chance you're like yeah my friend recommended this essay to me you know my friend's happy so I'll be happy or you go to a store and then the manager assigns you an essay or your previous essay leaves and then they just assign you to a new essay and you don't get along with them. It's also you need to know how to build a relationship with your essay, how to talk to them, how to treat them, you know, what to do if your essay gets fired, quits, changes jobs or goes on vacation. It's very, very important. The relationship with your essay is going to make it or break your Hermes journey. It's so important, you know, it's very important for you to choose friends, partners, business partners, and you work on those relationships. So this is one of the relationships that you also get to work with your Hermes sales associate. It's your companion and you need to give in order to receive. And I mean by receiving, an opportunity to buy a bag. I wish things were different. I wish Hermes was different and I didn't have to phrase it like that, but it is a reality, Hermes is playing the game, we're playing the game, and the goal is to get an offer for Birkin or Kelly. So your essay is your best friend, your companion, you need to invest in the relationship with them, you need to know how to talk to them. Which is why I am creating a mass essay etiquette in my h inner circle, where I'll be teaching you how to pick an essay, what to do in case the essay moves or you're no longer with that essay, how to talk to your sales associates, what to say, what not to say, what to do, what not to do, how to work on your relationship and how to make sure that you leverage that relationship to spend less, to spend less money on pre-spend. So yes, you are doing a little bit of work, you are caring about the relationship and you're also saving a lot of money. And yes, I am speaking from experience. I was unlucky to pick an essay that I did not really click with, I didn't feel understood, I didn't feel like a priority, I felt like the essay was constantly forgetting what I was asking her about, had to remind, you know, like that relationship, it felt like a struggle. And obviously I wasn't in the essay's top list to get a quota bag, so it took me one year and a half to get a quota bag and I had to stand up for myself and I had to do things that I don't recommend that you do, so don't let it get to the point to get a quota bag and then I was able to switch and obviously now I'm in a very happy Hermes essay relationship. I feel understood, I feel seen, I feel like I'm a priority, I have a great relationship, I can be honest, I can be myself, the essay can be themselves as well so I definitely think that it's something so so important that I see people making or breaking their journeys. Mistake number four is that you care only about Hermes quota bags or Hermes bags. Hermes is one of these brands that they will reward your loyalty by giving you a Birkin or a Kelly. I know how messed up it sounds, I know, and there's nothing I can do about it because I personally did not invent this. So I am just sharing the rules over here. If you come to Hermes and you don't care about any other products, if you don't care about horses and you don't buy Hermes saddles, they're not going to give you a bag. I'm just joking with you. No, but this is a great example of like, they want you to care about the brand, about the leather, about buying from many different various departments before you are offered an Hermes bag. So you have to show your loyalty to the brand, your genuine interest in the brand in order to be able to be offered a bag because the bag is sort of like a reward. So even if you only care about the bag, you and me know that maybe you only care about the bag. I personally love a brand, but I have helped a lot of people that usually, you know, they're just there for the bag. You know, this is such a double-edged sword. If your goal is only to get a Birkin or a Kelly, I highly recommend maybe you just getting one from a reseller because maybe like, because Hermes is going to make your job 
through some hoops to get a bag, especially in difficult countries, you are going to be jumping. You are going to be jumping through the hoops. So if you don't want to deal with that and you just want one Birkin or a Kelly and you don't care about building a relationship with a brand, go to a reseller, pay the reseller fees, get your bag and move on, forget about Hermes. So yes, Hermes game is for people that actually like and appreciate the brand. And the fifth mistake is comparing your journey to someone else's. Most of you have communities that, you know, you have friends that buy Hermes bags, you have family that buy Hermes bags, and if you compare, you're like, oh yeah, she went and she got this. They went and they did this. It's not going to help you. I would really encourage, if you need help, if you're not happy with where you are with a brand of Hermes, reaching out for help. Asking me or asking, you know, another source in the community if that's so resonates with you. Just don't compare yourself to other people. And definitely, please don't go to the same store and saying like, oh yeah, well, last week you gave my friend a mini Kelly and she spent $5,000 less than I did. Like, definitely, please do not do that. Do not compare your journey to other people's journeys. Reach out for help instead. If it's me or another person or even your Hermes essay, if you feel comfortable in that relationship, maybe you could ask them, hey, like, what's what's it going to be that will bring me to my dream bag. Now, especially with the lawsuits that are going on right now, I do anticipate Hermes essays not being so open and sharing exactly what you need to do. So I would definitely just ask for help and don't take it personal when other people are getting Hermes bags and you're not. It means maybe Maybe we need to tweak something. These are all the situations that I help in my H inner circle. If you are struggling or if you want to up your game, travel, get more than two quarter bags, get bags in different stores in the world, or know how to build a long lasting, fruitful relationship with an Hermes essay and Hermes as a brand, then my H inner circle is for you. I'll drop the link below. Make sure to register. My H inner circle reopens on April 25 and I will have an amazing 24 hour early access offer that I will be offering private consultations with me so you can tell me your story and I can give the advice that is applicable to you and so that we can build a strategy that will get you to your dream bag. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Hermes tips and other luxury brand reviews and follow me on Instagram because every Wednesday I do do Q&A on my Instagram stories and I will pick a few questions to answer. As always, with love.